What you're gonna learn about now is called a verbal expression. Okay, a verbal expression is what it, exactly what it says. Okay, you're expressing something verbally. Okay, whenever we, um, you know, we had like the product of four and x, and we put it into an equation like four times x. We're doing the opposite of that. We're taking an equation and then making it into a sentence, okay? Essentially how you would say it. So um, let's say, that shouldn't be so hard. Okay, two plus x. Okay, you could say, like say they wanted two verbal expressions for this. You would say two plus x, or you could say two plus a number x, because we don't know what x is. We could just assume it's a number. It's not going to be 2 plus a bird, okay? 2 plus x. Or you could say the sum of 2 and a number x, okay? Or you could just say the sum of 2 and x, okay? When you say a number x, it sounds a lot fancier, okay? And obviously it's a number. You're just adding a couple words in there to make yourself look good for your teacher. Your teacher's going to be like, oh, Billy, you're so smart. And you're going to be like, I know, right? All right. And then you'll get like a letterman jacket for being so good at math. <laughs> That's a pi symbol. What? Okay. So 2 plus x and then the sum of number x. At 2 and a number x. Okay? Let's do one that's a little more complicated. Let's say we've got um, 4x squared minus 3. Okay? We could write it out 4 um, four times, because I'm just taking it one thing at a time, 4 times a uh, number x squared minus 3. Okay? That's a verbal expression of that. Okay? It's a very ugly one because really all I did was list everything out. Let's make this look good, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this up into sections, okay? Three less than, okay? So we know that's gonna go at the end. We're gonna take three away from whatever it is, okay? Three less than the product, hmm, that sounds good, that means you're multiplying, so I've included my multiplication. Three less than the product of A number x squared and 4. Now you're thinking, why don't you just write the product of 4 and a number x squared? Well, then you might think that you're wanting to square all this. When we're not, our original problem just wanted us to square the x. So I put it first, okay? I said the product of a number x squared and 4, okay? I think that would work. I would accept it. And if your teacher doesn't well, <laughs> That's, well, that's really their choice because they're your teacher. I'm not. I'm just a guy on YouTube or wherever you're watching this. Bye-bye. What up? Thank you guys for watching the math video. If you get a chance, check out TylerTarver.com. I've got links to math videos and other stuff. Whatever. Um, I've got a math YouTube, which is... You know, what you might be watching this on, you might not, whatever. If you could subscribe to that. And then also, I've got a fun account. Eh, let's see if it's fun. But if you could check it out too, it's got some math and then some other stuff that's less math. All math, some math, and other stuff. Check me out on Instagram if you want. Also, Twitter and Facebook. I know that looks like Tumblr. I'm just not very good. I have a Tumblr, but just Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. If you're on YouTube and a regular one, you can click on these and go to them. If, if not, links in the description. <laughs>